Demolition on areas of the Wichita County Courthouse is set to begin later this week, but before those much needed renovations, Wichita County employees got to pitch in and help. Yeah, you. Zach Verdia was at the Bash the Courthouse event that ended not too long ago. Zach, we got to see you smash some of the wall during <laughs> KFDX3 News at 5. What was it like? It was definitely a lot of fun. Stress relief. You could see Judge Woody Gossam even took a turn. It was a lot of fun, but people are even more excited for what the future will look like. When the county took over the building in the 70s, they made some improvements, and that was the last time it was touched. I know a lot of things have changed since the 1970s. <laughs> it, it was time. It needed some facelift, needed some help. On Wednesday, renovations will officially begin, but Monday evening, Wichita County employees had the first crack. What other great opportunity do you have to actually take a hammer to the building you work in? <laughs> the district clerk's office will move into the future brand new first floor office for easier public access. There will also be a law library where citizens can also access public records. County services like human resources will also make the move. Sync one commissioner Mark Beecham, who's been the county's lead on this and the new law enforcement center project, has stayed busy done tremendous work in doing those things and didn't stop to admire the work at the LAC. He's moved on. A move that was more evident by the day, as this time last year, the county was experiencing major issues days before the general election. The, one of the biggest elections in our lifetime was about to occur and our whole election room was wet because we had a north wind and the wall leaked that precipitated part of this project and squeezing them all together into one. Beecham says the total project initially had a six million dollar price tag, but doing it all together cuts almost two million off the total price, leaving county leaders room to look at other areas of need after this first project. We can look at some significant changes in our courtrooms, as well as going back over the annex and the remodel of the tax area and some other offices, just, you know, really cleaning up and dressing up those buildings to look more presentable for a county our size. Changes that are decades overdue, but will benefit the county for decades to come. Oh my goodness. And the county annex, downtown, and elevators at the courthouse are both included in this round of renovation. So be on the lookout for updates on those projects. But obviously, people had a lot of fun today. It sure looks like. And those renovations are going to be nice when those are finished, for sure. Okay, Zach, thanks so much.